Hi, I'm Liz from Caravan Guard Insurance. In this video, we're going to give you some top tips on how to reverse your caravan just like a pro. We're here at Loudons in Nottingham, and I'm with Richard, who's an experienced caravanner and also an instructor with Towing Solutions. And he's going to go through some practical steps and tips on how to reverse your caravan. So the first thing we're going to ask is how do you prepare both yourself and your outfit before reversing your caravan? Preparation when you arrive is key. Stop, handbrake on, check your visibility, check all your mirrors. If you've got a partner or someone with you, ask them to step out and help guide you back. It'd be great for them to stop other people maybe wandering across the back of the caravan while you're manoeuvring. And from my experience, that does happen. Turn your radio off, make sure you're comfortable, open your windows, get some fresh air in. If for any reason you're, you're aware that your reversing lights aren't working, always use your hazard lights. That's giving people around you the opportunity to see what is going on, that you are doing a manoeuvre. By checking the area that you're reversing, there might be overhanging trees, which could do damage to your caravan. And again, there may be other people walking around. And look for other objects on the ground. There could be bushes, there could be a tree stump. Just be aware of what your surroundings are before you start that manoeuvre. With any caravan manoeuvre, the key to it is speed. If you go faster than snail's pace, it's going to go wrong. When again, you start going backwards with a caravan on the back, you are steering left to go right and right to go left. That's not normal for us. So if you go slow, it gives you that opportunity to make any of the fine corrections. Now by using your mirrors and concentrating particularly on one mirror, you'll be able to guide the back of the caravan to precisely where you want it. Small movements of the steering wheel will allow you to judge how the caravan is reacting as you make your progression backwards. Two bigger reactions can get the caravan to virtually jackknife if you overreact it. And again, if you're going too fast, you won't give yourself the time to make any corrections that are needed. Anyone that's a banksman or anyone that's going to help you needs to stand where one, you can see them, and two, you can hear them. So any signals that they happen to use, like halt or keep coming, you can clearly see or hear. If you're into gadgets, you can always look at purchasing additional cameras to go on the back of the caravan, which will give you a clearer view of what's behind you. Right, well a straight line manoeuvre is actually, fun enough, the most difficult of all the manoeuvres. Reverse around a corner is far simpler. With a straight line, what you need to do is pick a point on your caravan that you can see clearly when it's nice and straight. So for example, on the particular caravan, it had a water fill point. You keep that in, in your towing mirror. Now, if that starts to disappear or you see too much of the side of that caravan appear in that right towing mirror, turn towards it. And as you turn towards it, you'll see it come back into line. If it disappears altogether and you look in your left-hand towing mirror, you'll see more of the side of that caravan. So you would turn to the left to bring it back square again. With all the reversing manoeuvres, speed is the key. If you go back too fast, you will have an issue. Just go back nice and slowly and steadily. If ever in doubt, stop. There's no rules that says you can't stop. Think it through. And then again, start moving again back slowly. When you're reversing a caravan into a parking space or into a bay or onto a pitch, what I always do is look at the key points where I've got to start turning. Drive past your pitch so that the back of the caravan is clear of the pitch or the area that you're going to reverse into. Then what I will do is look in my mirrors and see clearly that everything's safe before I start manoeuvring and going backwards. As I start going backwards, I will manoeuvre the back of the caravan using my mirrors so that it starts to go towards the pivot point, which in this case is the cone. As I approach the cone and the wheel is in line with the cone or just a little bit past it, I will then put the car onto a full steering lock to swing the back of the caravan round in the direction that I want it to go. And then once it's, it's firmly made its manoeuvre, I will then go full, all the way back to the opposite lock to start beginning to straighten the whole unit up. Top tip, when you stop, just pull the car forward slightly and the bellows on the tow hitch of the caravan will open up. This will make it easier when you disconnect it from the car and will stop any possible damage of the tow hitch pushing into the back of your car. 
Well, the blind side is obviously more difficult reverse than when it was on the driver's side. But again, you would drive past the point where you're gonna be. So your back of your caravan has cleared the area that you're gonna reverse into. Top tip, I always adjust the passenger mirror so that I can see exactly where that caravan wheel is. I've also got the towing mirror adjusted if needs be, so I've got better visibility. And then like with the previous maneuver, I start going back slowly. I know what my pivot point is, which is the caravan wheel, and when I reach a certain marker, I know then to turn it onto full lock to get the caravan to start turning into the position that I want it to be in. Once you've got it going in the right direction, you then need to counteract that by going to the full opposite lock to start bringing the car around and get the caravans more lined up than it was before. If needs be, you can always pull forward a little bit and then pull back in and straighten it up or use your motor mover or if you need to, you could always just push it to position. If you have the, the advantage of having someone with you, on a blind side manoeuvre, it's always worth them standing out there so that they can guide you, but make sure you can see them and you can also hear them. There are no rules or regulations in terms of stopping. If you're in doubt, stop, get out, check. It's a lot better and a lot cheaper than hearing that awful crunch sound. Look, everyone makes mistakes when it comes to reversing. I've made a number of mistakes today. It's just human nature. When you pull up to a pitch, certainly on a campsite, people come out and they want to watch. My advice is, you start reversing slowly, they will think you know what you're doing, they will disappear. Take your time, there's no point rushing. We've all had stressful trips, we've had bad traffic, we've arrived after an eight hour drive and we're exhausted. You have a couple of options. One, like me, if I've had a trip like that, I'm more than likely to use a motor mover because it's simpler and it's easier and it's not quite as stressful. There are no rules or regulations that says you must reverse onto a pitch. If you've got a motor mover and you want to use it, use it. If you haven't, you can always unhook from the car and just push it into position if it's not too heavy a caravan. But when it comes to reverse, if you can just stay calm, chill out, ignore everyone else around you, and just go through nice and slowly and steadily and reverse it. In summary, these are my top tips for reversing the caravan. First of all, get out. Have a look at where you're going to reverse. Make sure there's no obstacles in the way that you could accidentally run into. Number two, slowly. Slower the better. If you're going too fast, that's when most of the accidents or possible accidents can happen. Number three, Use your mirrors. Make sure that your mirrors are set and you can clear, clearly see where you're manoeuvring into. And four, stay calm. Ignore everyone else around you. Do what you need to do. Number five, practice when you can. Now, it won't necessarily make it perfect. It will just give you more confidence when you do need to reverse. So there's our top tips for how to reverse your caravan just like a pro. We'd like to say a huge thank you to both Richard from Towing Solutions and also to Loudons in Nottingham. And as Richard said, practice will give you that confidence when reversing your caravan or even towing. There are plenty of courses available nationwide where you can get one-to-one -one tuition to improve your towing and reversing skills. It is worth making that investment in a motor mover to help with those tricky manoeuvres. And remember, we do offer a small discount for caravan reversing aids such as rear view cameras and reversing sensors. For more hints and tips, why not head on over to the Caravan Guard website. Thanks for watching.